What's going on guys, it's a review artist, and it's time to look at Cyan Engine Mod 12 official for the OnePlus One. So guys, this is the original Cyan Engine Mod 12 for the OnePlus One, and as you can see, it's got its own Cyan Engine theme activated at the moment. So in settings, control over, and we can see about device, well about phone, and see it's Cyan Engine OS 12.0, and it's not the nightly anymore. So yes, so this is apparently the official Cyan Engine version, for the OnePlus One, and I found it on the OnePlus One forum, and the CM12S, or 12, or whatever you want to call it, it's been uh, approved by Google and Cyanogen, and it is out. So the OTA, the over-the-air update, will be around the world, and it is global in India as well, so if you're in India, um, you will be able to update. Now, there are a few good things and bad things with this update. One bad thing is that there is a still a bit of lag, so if you can see, well, you can't really tell, but there's a bit of a stutter there, and when you going through applications, you can notice, but that is, you get used to it. But one good thing about this, and the, from this and the nightly, is that the battery life is seem to be doing well already. I've had it for, let's see what I've had it on for. So you can see there, um, it's on 91% at the moment, and if I keep using it, and believe me, I've been using Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, at least 15 minutes per hour, and it's not even been showing up, and if I, my lifestyle was like that, it is a bit, if I continue, I'd get 16 hours, whereas yesterday with the nightly update, it said approximately 6 hours, so there is a bit of a difference there. So yeah, the battery life is really good. Screen resolution obviously still the same and everything, but it is seemed to be a bit clear for some reason. I don't know, maybe because Cyanogen is a bit more squared. But the theme, you can change the theme here. Two themes came along, and you can see in themes it's changed a bit. This is a Hexo Cyanogen one, same as a Cyanogen Mod 11S. It came on, but obviously this is a lollipop update. There's a morphing one that I downloaded. That I downloaded that. This one, the system Android, that's a stock skin however I'm just getting to know this so let's see if you can see that bit of lag there you can't really tell on the camera it all looks great but still it is definitely solid and as far as um, the official is concerned this apparently is the official one because it has been shipped obviously a few places haven't got it yet but th throughout this week they should be getting it so if you're on Sanjay's Mod 11 and you want to upgrade the over the air update should be coming when well, as soon as you click system software update however if you're running oxygen os and you want this do, this is apparently not a good idea from going on oxygen to this as you can brick your phone however there is ways of unbricking it and you'll have to use a tool but um as far as flashing concerned just got the zip extracted it well i didn't extract it i just dragged it from the computer onto here Gone to fast boot mode and cleared the cache from the and data from the previous flash and then go install and just click on it, swipe to install, and it was simple as that. So there's nothing that much to it apparently from the 12 nightly. So we can see the applications they look a bit more square. Obviously, they've got a square the pack behind it. The icon pack is. Cyan Engine's own, so this is Cyan Engine's own theme, and it looks really nice having a look at it again. So you can see it's black instead of grey, like it usually is. So and you can change that obviously. And as far as the camera goes, it is that 11 camera. So in the nightly, you get the new, uh, sort of new, uh, lollipop camera, and it took half of the screen, and even the stock camera is like that. Whereas this, you can see it's pretty clear, so I'm going to take a few. So look better in person obviously, you can see it, zoom is perfect, got all that detail, needs cleaning the car. You like the Ventador, yeah? So that is a mouse by the way. So yeah, so taking a look at it, there's a few minor changes and battery life is obviously one of your biggest concerns if this is your daily driver, which is for me, and it's fine. Now with the audio effects, you can see I've got two here, and the reason why is one is the normal one. So this audio effects, the max audio has come, came back, some people like it, some people don't like it. I preferably, um, I like it a little bit because it's clear, but I prefer the old C11 with distortion and a lot of bass, because I know like 20 hertz is not really 
even though it goes down to 32 hertz, it doesn't really show. Now my second one, I've installed from CM Apps, is this. Now I don't know what's wrong with it. It seemed to work a little bit, but it is like the original one. But um, sort of, I think because the audio plugin is the newer one, Max Audio, it sort of goes crazy. It doesn't stop working as far as I'm aware. You know, like before it stopped working. I think it's more stable. It's still stable like this, but there's no distortion or anything. So if the audio is the same. Uh, I think it might have changed. I'm, well, I'm obviously you know uh, when you hope something's changed, it kind of feels like it's changed a little bit for you. See, so yeah, guys, just look in settings. We'll show you a bit more of new features. So you can see gestures that is there, and it was there before. You know, you can activate it, draw a circle to the launch camera, music, flashlight. I'll show you the flashlight. It wasn't really working, and obviously the double tap to unlock. So you can see no flashlight at the moment. Oops. There you go. Uh, see if, yeah, it turns off fine. Before it f went on by accident and I couldn't turn it off. Guys, the lock screen is CM12, and as you can see, it's a bit different between the nightly and this one. And one of the big differences is the fact that it's see through. And I haven't found a way of um, looking and stopping that. But yeah, it's see through. So whatever's showing, and I show you that. So if I'm loading, let's say, if I'm loading the camera. So you can see the camera's on if I lock it, and unlock it again, it's the camera underneath. So whatever app is, is playing underneath, it reminds me of iOS 7, the way it all looks, the way it's all blurred out. But yeah, um, CM12, it's pretty nice. Um, so this is the official one, some people were like, um, it's not, but it apparently it is. It's running pretty well, and there's nothing really much different between the original one except bug issues and yeah the screen and you can change the screen by the way if I show you that go more settings the display lights adaptive brightness that's on everything um where is it gone screen colors oh, no, no. screen color so you can see standard vivid custom so you can customize it so if i want to take it all the way down just get this i know it's black and white it's to save battery if i want to put it all the way up like a samsung then it's 100 it's like the AMOLED even though it's LCD but I keep it around 25 just get that oh, cap. yeah 25 save so that's why I keep it as because it's vivid a bit like the iPhone vivid but not as vivid as the super AMOLED which is too vivid and as far as users you are, do have the users just click the users uh, you can add user, guest user, you know about this, more settings. You, you're the owner, so if you want to hand someone else your phone, like a kid or a parent or something, you can do guest or make an account for them where they can't access your private information but can access Google Chrome and whatnot. So guys, that was the CM12. You can see a few widgets. You know, the basic widgets, what we're here. Um, a few of it is available from the Play Store, obviously. But... Um, as far as home screen, using the standard home screen, everything is sort of the same. Uh, actually, we're using Google Launcher. You can change it back. Settings, uh, home, and you can Launcher 3, which is the official one. So you can go back there. You can see a bit of a difference. So it just show a little bit of more detail so that the icons have shrunk down you can change that obviously but yeah so that there's no google now swipe to the left which i do use quite a bit which is why i'm using the google launcher obviously all these effects so you can change the icon label scroll effect the size uh, larger icons put that on there it is obviously you can change all this in cm um in cm11 However, it's now on CM12. So yeah, guys, that was just uh, OnePlus One running Sound Engine Mod 12 official. Hope you like it. I will bear in mind this is not the review for the device. I did the review for the actual device before. This is just showing you CM12 and the differences between the nightly 12 and the official 12 for the OnePlus One. So thanks, guys, for watching. If the likes and comments are active. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, comment if you have any problems, and subscribe and I'll show you some more amazing videos of the OnePlus One and other devices.
Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.